Today, we discuss single-use plastics. Should the US government ban them? Single-use plastics are used for shopping bags, to wrap around our food and other products when we buy them, and as the plastic spoons and cups and plates that many food businesses rely on. Yet, they also make up much of the trash that's thrown onto beaches, at parks, on city streets, and into the ocean. The stuff that leaks out or never makes its way into our waste disposal systems. They cause health problems for all kinds of animals, including ourselves, and their tiny plastic sheddings called microplastics and nanoplastics cause cancers and endocrine disruptions and nervous system diseases, and in many animals, obstructions after being eaten. Several countries have started banning single-use plastics with varying results. The EU and England, for example, banned the top 10 single-use plastics most commonly found on beaches, and China introduced a five-year plan to slowly wean its cities off of single-use plastics. India, Kenya, 12 countries in the Caribbean, and a number of other places have all implemented some kind of plastics ban as well. And eight U.S. states have also banned single-use plastics bags, so it can definitely be done in America. On the other side, 17 U.S. states have created preemptive ban laws. They've banned plastic bans, thus preventing plastic bans from being implemented at the local level. These preemptive bans are lobbied for by the plastics industry, which is also the petroleum industry. Plastics are made from oil, of course. So the mighty weight of the oil industry pulls many of the policy strings and the propaganda around plastics. If you want to learn more about plastics, click on the link in the description for the full one-hour topic lecture backed by oodles of science and expert opinion.